Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda on the NES. My name is Keith, aka Keithius, and when we last left off, I was finally about to finish level 6. So let's do that. And here we go with a room full of you guys. Let's get rid of you first. Another secret. Down we go. And I wonder where this will take me. Gee. I wonder. And... Some rupees, which are actually very helpful. As you can see, we're way up in the corner here, part of the map that we couldn't get to from anywhere else. This is going to become a recurring theme in uh, levels from here on out. Oh, nice. That was easy. And now this room is annoying as shit. Stop knocking me into the traps. Ooh. Very. Yes. Alright, so there's a room down here, which is probably just a trap room, but I'm going to go do it anyways. And some bombs. Well, that was a useless waste of all my hearts. Anyways, here we are. Boss time! For this guy, we need, finally, bow and arrow. And that's all it takes. Shoot him when his eye opens, you're done. Stupid easy. But don't worry, there will be blue versions of him later on that are harder. And for all our troubles, we finally get the sixth piece of the Triforce. And we can finally move on. Look at that. All we've got now are two pieces left. A nice little square missing from our Triforce. So, we need to go... Well, we need to do a bit of backtracking. As I showed you in the last video, I need to go to the place where the fairies don't live. Uh, and I'm gonna use the whistle to do some warping. otherwise I have to climb all the way down from the mountain where I am up here. And actually, this is pretty good. This will do nicely. Come on, jump. There we go. I really don't get uh, what controls how uh, where the whistle drops you off. It seems to be completely random. Now. But whatever, we got there. Maybe the game knows where I need to go. All the way over here, blow the whistle. This is the part of the game where I usually start to get bored. Because all the secrets have been found for the most part. And now it's just dungeon crawling. And level 7, here we go. Remember this guy? We fought him a couple times. Get some money. Money is actually very useful. There's going to be another guy who says, I bet you'd like to have more bombs at some point here. Ah, cool, we got the master one. Alright, let's go back this way. Who's over here? You guys, huh? Haven't seen you in a while. Ah. I 
hide in this room because I remember what it looks like. secondary weapon that can also attack. It's very handy. There we go. Actually, I'm starting to forget what these levels, um, what the maps look like. Ah, this guy. It's funny how, uh, what used to be uh, a boss becomes just an ordinary enemy in some of the later levels. By the time we get to level 9, you're fighting just about everybody you've ever seen. Oh, isn't this a blast from the past? Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to die! Uh, I really should uh, consult a map here, because I'm not exactly sure which way to go. My memory is fading. It's been a really long time since I've played any of these levels. Ah, there's a secret in the tip of the nose. You are one weird old man. Well, that reminds me what this level looks like. Kind of looks like a face with a nose up in the top right corner. So, I guess that's where we gotta go. bomb somewhere here, aren't I? I wonder if I can do it here. Yep. Now you'll notice I'm starting to use the magic wand a lot more. I, um, it's sort of like my castle crawling utility weapon. On the overworld I usually use the boomerang. In dungeons I tend to use this, especially once I get the magic book, which allows me to light things on fire! using the magic wand, which saves me from having to switch to, ah, the candle all the time. Thank you. Come here, you fat dinosaur. There we go. I knew there was a way to kill them without requiring two bombs. If you can hit them with the explosion from your um, bomb, and then hit them with your sword while they're stunned, they will give you, usually, a, a bomb as an item drop. Whereas if you kill them with the two bombs, you know, having them ingest both of them, one after another... Uh, oh wow, snakes, haven't seen you guys in a while either. Sorry, ropes. Um, then they just blow up and give you random stuff not as entertaining. And let's see here. I can go up here, which I think I will. Yeah, I bet you'd like to have more bombs. I knew I'd run into you. Yes, I would like to have more bombs, but I don't have that much money right now. Ugh. Well, I'm kind of running out of time here, so I think I'm going to stop for a moment and uh, we'll pick this up next time. I may or may not off-screen collecting 100 rupees so that I can meet you back here. In either case, I'll see you next time, where we'll pick up from here. Either way, whether I have more rupees at the time or not depends entirely on how much motivation I have to go farm some rupees. Anyways, see you next time on Let's Play The Legend of Zelda. Bye for now.